Hello everyone, Mac here. Welcome back to the show. It is Comic Book Wednesday, and what that means I will explain to you in one second. But first, go to my Twitter feed, find that photo. There's the handle, there's the photo, there's the card for the review. Find that photo, and you can enter to win an Amazon-exclusive G.I. Joe Classified Storm Shadow. Now, explaining what Comic Book Wednesday means, and if you watched the video for Storm Shadow, you may notice that I labeled that Saturday Morning Cartoons. The reason I'm doing this is because when I was doing all of the Wonder Woman videos and I was doing Wonder Wednesdays, I kind of liked having themed days. So I'm trying that out, giving it a shot, seeing how it works for the new year. Wednesdays would be comic book days. Saturdays would be something to do with Saturday morning cartoons, such as G.I. Joe. Now, does this mean every Wednesday and Saturday we're going to have something like that? No. It just means that if something pops up on a Wednesday, it's pretty much a safe guarantee that it's going to have something to do with comic books. If something pops up on a Saturday morning, and it's going to be very early in the morning, you'll know it has something to do with Saturday morning cartoons. I even halfway considered that if I start to get more subscribers and we get more active with this, that maybe on Saturdays may even do like live stream Saturday mornings. We'll have to wait and see. I don't know. It's just some ideas that I'm kicking around. But today is comic book day and we have this to take a look at. The Marvel Legends 80 years Captain America in his World War I garb with his motorcycle. And this thing is awesome. Now, Longtime viewers of the channel know that I really don't collect a whole lot of Marvel Legends figures. Most of my action figures are DC or G.I. Joe, but this I had to have. This is fantastic. This is a classic. Just look at all of this. Look at this bike. Look at this outfit. Look at this shield. <laughs> Everything about this is great, and truthfully, I think he's going to look great next to my G.I. Joe collection, too. That's probably how I'm going to end up displaying him. This box makes a great display box. You have the bike, you have cap on full view, even have the two saddlebags where you can see them, the handlebars, so you can see the, let's bring it up a little closer, you can see the gauge on the handlebars. Everything is on perfect view. This in and of itself would make a great display box. On the side, we have some art of cap. On the back, we have a great, great image, and up here, when Steve Rogers joins the top secret super soldier program during World War II, he emerges as the incredibly strong and fiercely patriotic hero, Captain America. And you see, you see, this is what I mean when I'm upset that G.I. Joe Classified doesn't have file cards, because they can even put something like this on a Marvel Legends figure. And look at how great this thing is. This, is, this, this looks fantastic. Like I said, this box would be great for displaying, but... If you've watched the show, you know me, you know I don't keep things boxed up. This is getting opened up, so give me a few minutes, we'll open this, we'll put it together, and we'll take a look at Marvel Legends series, Captain America, 80 Years of Marvel. Okay, here he is, Steve Rogers, Captain America himself, out of the box, and the first thing we're going to do, as we do with most figures, is we're going to put the tape measure to him and see how he measures up with the rest of the figures. And if we take a good look here, we can see that at the top of his helmet, he is almost six and a half inches tall, which puts him at about the six inch scale. But also what I wanna do is, let's set you back there for a second cap. We have the bike right here, and just look at this thing. I'm not sure which I like better, the bike or the cap, the captain. I mean, <laughs> this bike looks great, this old Harley. From exhaust tip to front of the tire, it is, the bike is nine inches long, and to the very top, it is five inches tall. So it's a hefty looking bike, and we've seen this bike before. This is the same uh, body style for the bike that comes with the Punisher figure, and I'm pretty sure this is the motorcycle, this, this base frame right here is the same motorcycle that came with the first Ghost Rider figure. Not the Cosmic Ghost Rider, the original Ghost Rider figure that came out a few years ago. So let's set that back, set the shield off, and let's bring Cap forward a little bit. Now, if we take a look at him, first of all, I love this blue, like this drab blue. This isn't the bright blue that would come later with his more iconic costume that he wears. This is a more drab blue reflecting it's a little bit dirty it's a little bit more 
combat orientated. It's definitely something that he would be wearing in the trenches during World War II. As far as articulation goes, his head is on a ball joint, just like all of the Marvel Legends figures. It's a little bit of a double joint here. Okay. Arms go all the way out to the sides. Full rotation in the elbow, or I mean in the shoulders. Bicep swivel. Double jointed elbows with some great travel on it. Wrists swivel. No, there's a little bit of pivot in the wrist, but the call, the cuffs of his uh, jacket kind of get in the way. And also, my utility belt keeps popping up, keeps popping off, but we can pop that back in. There's a little bit of a waist crunch here, but it doesn't really work that well because of this harness that he's wearing. Oh, his helmet keeps coming off. His helmet does come off. We'll take a look at that in a second. He has a waist twist. Put your arms up, Cap. And of course, legs go out forward. Not so much back. He has calf swivel. Double jointed knees. Once again, with some great travel on them. He has a boot cut and ankle pivot and rock. So he has all of the standard articulation that you expect from a Marvel Legends figure. His stance is a little bit wonky because, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I feel like, let me get him standing up here so you can see what I mean. I feel like his left leg is just a bit out of whack. It's a little bit bowed. And I don't know if it's supposed to be like that or if it, they had to do that so he could fit on the motorcycle. I don't know. But past that, he's a great looking fig. He's a great looking figure. Love this guy. The helmet does come off. So all you have is the skull cap underneath. But let me bring this forward a little bit and show you that focus, focus. If you turn around and look at the back here, the back of his head, it just doesn't look right. <laughs> like there needs the, the, the back of his head. See, there's nothing stopping it from doing that. And that just looks weird. <laughs> and I think it's because there's no hair piece back there. There's nothing back there to stop it. Because ideally, the helmet when it's on is what stops it from doing stuff like that and covers up that ugly open gap. So you can pose him with the helmet off, but just make sure it's pretty much a full-on shot. Okay. Also, as I was saying, his harness keeps coming off. That there are buckles to his harness that you can undo the harness and you can pull it off. So you can get a look at Cap in his motorcycle jacket. Once again, you can see he's a little wonky in how they molded him, and I'm not sure why they did that. I don't know if it was supposed to just show how loose the clothing would have fit him back in the day, but you can see you can get a little bit more work out of the ab crunch and a torso twist there. But I don't know. Uh, it's just a little, he's just put together a little, little off kilter. I mean, there you can get him looking pretty decent, but he still has a slight lean to him. Luckily, though, put his arms back up, that when you put this harness back on him, you don't even got to worry about that, because this will cover up the imperfections. See, so there's this little peg right here on the back that keeps, or on the side, that keeps coming undone when I was posing him. Now, like G.I. Joe Classified, what I love about this guy is that you can put all of his accessories that he comes with, and he has quite a few, either on him or on the bike, and he can be fully decked out with all of his gear. So you can see how we put the helmet on him down here on his boot. He has this sheath. Oh, let me focus. He has this sheath where he keeps his knife. I like that. On the side here, you can pop the flap on this holster. And you can draw 
is Colt 45. As much as I hate to admit it, I may actually give this to one of my Joes. And then on the back, he has a hole that if you take a look at his shield, we'll talk about the shield in a second, but if you take a look at the shield here, you can see there's a pivoting piece that there's either this peg or you can pivot it and you can get the wrist cuff. Now the wrist cuff is for whenever he's wielding the shield, obviously, using it to protect himself. The peg is that you can snap it onto the back and it looks like he's carrying his shield on his back and you can stash it there for whenever he's on the motorcycle. This version of Cap comes with his kite shield, which is his very first shield that he had when uh, Marvel Comics, which wasn't Marvel Comics when he was originated. I forget what the name of the comic company was. But the first shield he came with was this kite shield. And they had to change the shield because I forget what the particulars were, but there was another comic company that had a character that used a shield or he had a symbol like this on his torso. And I think the character was just called the shield. And they, they were crying copyright infringement because it was a hero that fought Nazis in World War II. So they got rid of this, and that's when they went to his iconic round shield that we all know and love. I'm glad this version, for celebrating 80 years of Marvel Comics, I'm glad this version came with the original shield that he had in the comics. Personally, I like in the movie, and they did this a couple times in the comics, how he was able to shove the shield down into the front of the motorcycle and actually use it to protect himself while he was riding. This bike isn't set up that way, and I don't think there's a way that you can do it. So for now, let's set Cap aside and let's take a look at his bike, because his bike is a character in and of itself. First of all, it's that olive drab green that we see that I think even in the movie The First Avenger, this is the same color that his, that his Harley was in that movie. And I like how it's distressed, it's weathered. You can see right here in the engine with the blackened heads, but you can still see a little bit of metal shining through. Up front here on the front fender, you can see that the paint has been worn due to weathering, due to road grit hitting it, and it's down to its metal. The back is fairly left untouched. On the side here, you can see we have a little bit... I can't figure out if that's actually supposed to be there or if that is a paint flaw <laughs> on mine. Either way, it fits with the aesthetic. And even on the ammo box down here, you can see on the front corner of the ammo box, like it's been getting hit with road grime for years. The tires are actually rubber. They're not solid plastic. They're actually rubber tires. And put the kickstand up. That it rolls very smoothly and very quietly, as you can see. Let's back that up a little bit. As you can see and not hear, it rolls very smoothly, very quietly. It's a really nice piece. It's a really nice bike. And you saw before that it does have this kickstand here that you can put down for displaying, whoop, for displaying, whoop, for displaying, <laughs> which is probably how you're going to use it. Unless you have some way of displaying bikes without the use of the kickstand. I don't know. I like the... I like the saddle seat that it has, very appropriate for the time. I like the saddle bags, these three tri bags back here. This whole piece is so well done. And like I said, I know we've gotten this bike before. This is not the first time we've had this bike. If you have the Punisher, you have a version of this bike. And like I said, I believe if you have the uh, original Ghost Rider figure that they came out with, I believe you have a copy of this bike. These saddlebags actually work. They open up and there's room inside that you can store stuff in them if you have anything else that you want to stash on his bike. This ammo box up front on the front fork unfortunately does not open. This is just a molded piece. But here up front we have his Tommy gun and I love, it's a little stuck, I love Tommy guns. I want a Tommy gun so bad. <laughs> like, not a real one, because those would be ridiculously expensive, but like getting a replica and just taking it to the range for shooting. I would love to get my hands on one of those. We can take a look at this Tommy gun, and this thing looks great, too. I wish it would have come with a drum feed, the 100-round drum that they came with, like the gangsters used, but the military didn't use the drum, they used the clip. 
and that looks great in his hands too. There's actually a Fortnite figure that's out that I think Jax put out. I think it was Jax Pacifica or was it Jade? I can't remember. But there's a line of Fortnite six inch figures out and one of them comes with a Tommy gun. I was thinking of getting that figure and seeing how that Tommy gun sized up to this one because the one that comes with the Fortnite figure is really, really detailed. And if it's roughly the same size, it would be cool to give that to Cap. Now you can just slip this back into the sheath. Ah, The pegs that hold this sheath on, while we're talking about this, you can see the pegs aren't very long right there. And the holes aren't very deep. So it does have a tendency of when you're trying to take the Tommy gun in and off and on, or in and out of the, the holster, ah, that it wants to pop off. But once you get it on there, it looks great. This motorcycle is just a fantastic accessory for this version of Captain America that almost to the point that if you would have brought out this version of Captain America with the helmet, with the goggles, with the road gear, with everything, and not given him the motorcycle, it's almost like he would have been missing something. Cap looks fantastic. I couldn't be happier with this figure. Well, actually I could, because he does have that wonky stance to him. Fix that, and I think you have a near-perfect figure here. I love the look of the, the spatted boots. I love the helmet. I love the old World War II deco that he has going on with all of his equipment. I love, love, love the motorcycle. And I think this is a great, great piece to celebrate Marvel's 80 years. They came out with a few other ones to celebrate 80 years of Marvel. One of them is Thor. And I plan on getting that Thor figure as well. This I got for Christmas. And I just wanted to get this taken care of, put this out there, because I was really eager to open it and take a look at it. And snap some photos of Cap in his gear on his bike. Like I said, this figure is going to look great standing next to some of my G.I. Joes. And that's how I'm going to display him. I don't have a very large Marvel Legends collection. So, he'll stay with the Joes, a real American hero. So here we have him, Captain America, 80 years of Marvel. I think he's a great figure. Yes, he has a little bit of symmetry problems with the way that he was molded and put together. But the harness covers it. You'll probably end up posing him on the bike anyway once you get him. I think he looks great. I think his aesthetic is great. I think this bike looks great. So that is our look at Marvel Legends, Captain America, World War II, 80 years of Marvel. Don't forget to check out my Twitter feed to find Storm Shadow and find out how to enter to win a free Amazon exclusive Storm Shadow. Don't forget to check out my homepage to see the main event collectors, the small group of toy collecting and genre entertainment YouTube channels that I belong to. Always check out the main event video that I post at the end of the video. So with that all in mind, until I see you next time, play well everyone, stay safe, stay healthy, and as always, thank you for watching.